Report from Santa Fe is made possible in part by grants from the members of the National Education Association of New Mexico, an organization of professionals who believe that investing in public education is an investment in our state's economic future. And by a grant from the Healy Foundation, Taos, New Mexico. I'm Lorene Mills and welcome to Report from Santa Fe. Today our guests are Mickey Rooney and his beautiful wife Jan Rooney. Thank you for joining us. It is our extreme yes, pleasure, we're Lorene. Happy to be here at this great capital of this great city. Gorgeous country it is here. Well, actually you you filmed a movie here in nineteen ninety three. Yes. Tell us about it. It was called The Legend of Ob Taggart. Right, with uh, uh, we had uh, Ernest Borgnine, uh, uh, Ned ben, Beatty. Ben, ben Johnson, Ned, Ned Beatty. Beatty yes. Uh, you uh, wrote it, Larry and Randy Travis, and he did write it. And I'm telling you, and she sang. It, and I, yes, I did. I sang, sang uh, a beautiful song, and I won't tell you what part I was singing in because it's kind of well. Uh, come on, <laughs> well, and so you filmed and, uh, it at the Bonanza same, Ranch. Same, same uh, place that my friend Kevin Costner shot Wyatt Earp. Uh huh. Uh huh. And so you lived in Santa Fe at that time? No, we just stayed doing the pictures. Oh, okay. And yeah. Gloria DeHaven was in it. Uh huh. And uh, let's see. Randy we, Travis. Randy Travis. Larry Gatlin. I think we've named everybody, but yes. Uh, it it was wonderful, and uh, you were an old cowboy. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> He's kind of a cowboy, anyway. Yes. <laughs> well, um, it would be very hard for me to even reprise your career. Suffice it to say that you are now setting out on your 85th anniversary tour. Yes. Tell us what you're going to be it's doing. Amazing, isn't Tell it? me about the show. Jan, you start. Well, it's it's music, 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 and uh, Mickey sings, and, and we have some film clips, maybe some mm -hmm. obscure ones people may not have seen of some of his movies and and things that he's been up to through the years, and talk of Hollywood, and of course Mickey's Hollywood royalty. We all know I that. I play piano. Yes, oh, and, good. and we do a, we little, do a little, little dancing. Dance. Just uh -huh. and uh, and we sing a song. That, believe it or not, George Gershwin wrote, mm -hmm. when, and uh, my friend Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Who are do, friends of both of ours. You say either, and I say either. Oh. You say neither, and I say neither. Either. Either. Neither. Neither. Let's call the whole thing <laughs> off. <laughs> and a lot of people oh, we don't have know more fun with that. that was written by the great George Gershwin. Yes, oh, it was. that is a much beloved song too. We we think of it usually as potato and potato. Well, we get to that. <laughs> you get into that too. Uh -huh. So where will this be seen? I know you have in been, England. It, well, you've been bringing next, down houses next, uh, in England. You are sold out always. Yes, this is well, our second tour back to England. We're uh -huh. leaving at the end of August, and and we're even going to get to Ireland. And, and we had a thrill in Washington. I don't know whether you saw it. The uh, we met Her Majesty the Queen. Oh. At uh, the uh, British ambassador. And who kissed your hand? I did. <laughs> oh, I, how I lovely. Said, May I kiss your hand? And she said, Yes. It was yes. so adorable. No, it's and I think she lifetime. loved having Andy Hardy kiss her hand. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> but because let's talk about royalty. As, as Jan said, you are Hollywood royalty. Yes, yes. You have been, what, how many years have you been performing? 85. 85. You've done mm -hmm. over 350 pictures. That's right. Um, I know that one of your early works that I so loved was the uh, Midsummer Night's Dream where oh. you played Puck. Well, I did things a long time before I did that. I know, I think you had uh, The 79. first picture I think I ever did was called Orchids and Ermine mm -hmm. with B.B. Daniels. Yeah. And then let's do a couple of the highlights because we, I know I always love National Velvet. Um, well, Elizabeth they play her. that in England. Mm -hmm. For three weeks before the Grand National, yes, every year, every year, ah, ah. and then Boys Town, uh -huh. and uh, Jan and I go around the country helping girls in Boys Town. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're well, you're the honorary mayor. Yes, he's the mayor life. for life. For life. Not honorary, the mayor. Mayor for yes, life, of well. Boys Town and Girls Town. <laughs> and uh, people don't realize the trouble, genuine trouble, the children. Mm -hmm. in, and it still mm -hmm. exists to this very day. Mm -hmm. People that are watching us now. 
Well, that, that tell us. They're, they're, they're abused. They're, yeah, they're, they're not sad. treated right. And uh, that's why they, it's they so get a important. chance for education and desire, loyalty, courtesy. They, they get learn to learn so many things and get treated with respect like the children that they deserve to have respect. And uh, we are going to, during our tour, we're uh, off shooting to Ireland, and we're going to see where Father Flanagan himself was born. Was born. Oh. And it'll be such a treat for us, uh, Mickey, uh, doing that wonderful movie, uh, Boys well, Town, and you know, Spencer the, Tracy. And even though it was a long time ago, a lot of people remember Boyd's Town. Of course they do. Because of their children. Mm -hmm. And our great nation, the United States of America, needs to remember that our families are really the only thing they have. It's the background they might of have America. money, mm -hmm. they might have desire, yes. they might have clothes, this and that. But in the end, mm -hmm family it yeah. means everything the support to of you. your family yeah. yes now you've been you've had an extended show business family I know people always ask you about your work with with Judy Garland and with Elizabeth Taylor and with, with all the greats Jimmy and Ann Miller too oh, Ann Miller who always used to say peace. Jan you are you are the home wife I am the stage wife oh okay. <laughs> that was when Annie was working in sugar babies I said that's fine Ann. yeah but you know there are, I I've worked with practically everyone. They always talk about the golden age. It wasn't the golden age. It was the good age mm. of where they made pictures that you understood. They had songs where you could understand the lyrics. That's why we love doing this show, is we have all these wonderful musical uh, hits of yesteryear and the nostalgic songs that uh, people really I mean, what better loved. can you do than, I like New York and you. <laughs> Which you did in a movie with you, How by the way. How about you? How about you? <laughs> I Those like wonderful songs. a Gershwin tune. Nice. How about you? <laughs> I mean, yeah. those, those I like a fireside. When a storm is due. I like potato chips. Moonlight motor trips. How about you? Yeah. And <laughs> we yeah. they go those. on and on. But those were, <laughs> and those are the songs mm -hmm. that people can understand. But we also I'm not going to in the go show. into what's going on today. Yeah. I mean, but everybody, music changes. Yes, Desire changes. changes. But there's the still a need for the changes. good old-fashioned songs, don't you think, Lorene? Well, yes, but not only that. The not children only need to do, know do them. These songs have meaning, but they're the soundtrack of our lives. Thank you. That's you, very well put. You have been the soundtrack of our lives. When you look look back, so anytime you want to burst into song and add soundtrack <laughs> to this program, you are always welcome. Well, thank you. <laughs> but uh, music has changed. Like everything else, they call it music. Well, now there's a t there's a place for everything, dear. <laughs> you know, Jackie Gleason came out, a wonderful guy, mm -hmm. yeah, and he gave the people yes. Jackie Gleason music. Oh, do you and recall they had all that? Strings. Oh, oh yes. yes. And the yes. wonderful. I think that was in the fifties. April in Paris. Oh, oh yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you know the uh, music for pictures. It's very important. Yes. Oh, yes. Awesome. No matter what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't think you can beat Lawrence of Arabia. No. And uh, Peter O'Toole. Well, that's not musical, but that's and but the movie. soundtrack. Our friend, Absolutely. our friend made a picture. Uh, Anthony Hopkins, his first, pic first picture with Catherine Hepburn, and Anthony Hopkins, and Tony Hopkins. Ah. And uh, such a wonderful, and Jan sang at his wedding. I did. Oh, you did. Who yeah. ever in a million years, years dreamed that I would be singing at Hannibal Lecter's wedding? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but well, he's figured. far from that. And we don't want to go into pictures so that wonderful. he's done. 
Yeah. Did you see him when he did Nixon? Oh, oh my goodness, was Lord. that compelling? That was more than acting. It was that like shows. You, he had the presence. Oh, it was indeed he did. Very frightening. Muni on the Bounty. Yes. Oh, yes. What a marvelous yes, actor yes. Tony and, is. Uh, well, we call him Tony. It's yeah. Anthony Hopkins, of course. Now, um, when you look, people probably always ask you your favorite films, but um, there's 350. so many. 350. It's like How choosing which that? child you like the most. Well, that's right. Yeah. I mean, the uh, latest picture I like very much. Night at the Museum. Night, Night at the yes. Museum. Yes, people Did love you see that. Ben yes. Stiller. Yeah. And, and you uh, were so cute. Robin Williams, who <laughs> was, you know, he might be going, oh, no, no, yes, you're all the way. But, yeah. but he is He's a, a marvelous actor. Fantastic. Did you see Awakening? Yeah. Directing. Yes. Oh, oh dr yes. Dramatic actor. Oh, he's marvelous. A so lot of he can do everything. Do yeah. Overlap into drama, which, uh, of course, this fellow but, here does. But, but, Mickey, you've done it all. Yes, he has. You sing, dance, play the piano, you act, and you're, 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 you're a movie bill. I write write songs. You write well, songs. Listen. And uh, I wrote a symphony called Melodante. Melodante. Mm -hmm. Melodante Three. Uh huh. Uh, uh huh. Janus Ramstad Capier. Uh, help me get it, is it finished. So talented. Yeah. He plays so many instruments. Yeah. But and you know, symphony music is the heart of calmness. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. And beauty. Mm -hmm. But when you I mean when you've got Ravel. When yeah. you play piano in our show, you do not hear a pin drop. Uh -huh. You can hear a pin drop, I should say. It's yeah. that intense. People's mouths just are open in amazement. Because he, he's so. He's I'm just lucky enough with to be with keys. a lady. <laughs> yes, yes. A lady. Yes, she is every inch a lady. And she well, loves thank you. Yeah. And then oh. who, who has seen me through everything that can be bad. Well. <laughs> but you know, when you find the right lady, not necessarily a woman, man and woman. The gentleman and lady. Right, not guys. Or dolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that movie. <laughs> but you know, I, I helped Frank Sinatra get started. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, you didn't, knew about Sammy that? Davis I, Jr. I, no, tell me. Well, he was uh, playing at the Palladium in the heart of Hollywood with Tommy Dorsey's band. Mm -hmm. He had come and he was, he was a band singer. And uh, I befriended him, and I said, Frank, you're just fantastic. Have you ever considered acting? He said, no, oh, I <laughs> Can I you couldn't. imagine the all So I called Louis B. Mayer at Metro <laughs> Golden Mayer, which was the time, it was the Tiffany, the business. And I told him about Frank. And. Uh, Frank Albert Sinatra, and he said, uh, tell him to give me a call. So I gave him the number, and he called him, and the rest this is history. Is incredible history. But we've got another. You Did you not give Marilyn Monroe her name? Yes, I did. That's a, is that a but book I legend, got, or is, tell me about that? Well, she arrived at a, at a, a trumpet player's house. Johnny the, Hyde, I No, think. no. No, no, not Johnny Hyde wasn't in the band. <coughs> oh, your band player. Uh, and uh, he arrived right by a helicopter. And everybody said, my God. And <laughs> I said, so, I, so before they all clumbed <gasps> on her, I said, come with me. I want you to come. It's very serious. So they thought, oh, here's Mickey. And I took her back to her place. It was in Hollywood. And I, she says, what do you want? I said, you've got to change your name, mm -hmm. Norma Jean. Mm -hmm. She says, what should I call myself? I said, Marilyn should be your first name. Mm -hmm. There was a great star called Marilyn Miller, uh -huh. and nobody has ever used it. And the phone rang, and it was my writing friend, Monroe Manning. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I said, Monroe, I can't talk now. May I call you back? <laughs> he said, thank you. And I stopped. And she says, who are you talking to? And I said, I was talking to your last name. She says, what's that? I said, Marilyn 
Monroe. Did she like it? Of course, it? a lot of people think I didn't, it? but I did. Oh, no, I, I, I've heard this about you for years. And yeah, anyway, she went and to my Sammy Davis school. Jr., Van Nuys High. Uh -huh. I found him in Baltimore, Maryland, uh -huh. the Will Maston Trio, his uncle and his father, mm -hmm. and I put him in the show with Judy and I at the time, right. and uh, he came down to, uh, my, my dressing room was on stage level, his was upstairs, a couple of flights. Inconvenient for everybody. And he said, knocked on the door, and I said, yes, who is it? He says, it's me, Mr. Rooney. I said, Mr. Rooney, come in. I said, you know my name. My name is Mickey. Sammy, what is it you want? He says, may I sit down? Sure. He says, can I talk to you for a moment? I said, sure. He said, I'm in trouble. I said, what's the matter? He said, I want to do everything. I want to sing. I love dancing. I love to imitate. I love comedy. I love serious. I said, what's holding you back? He said, don't you understand? I'm black. I said, you are? <laughs> I hadn't noticed. <laughs> And we were friends yeah. oh. from that moment. <laughs> what a talent. Then I, in Washington, oh. D.C., I, I saw Red and Nel, uh, Edna Skelton. Oh, Red Skelton, yes. At the Capitol Theater. And he just broke the show down. <laughs> I called Mr. Merrill, went backstage. I said, Red, I'm Mickey Rooney. He said, Mickey Rooney? I said, yeah. <laughs> big deal. <laughs> People don't understand that I'm just a human being with faults and and but I at the time was in a position to but that's been your give this. your history you've helped so many people no, along the way no I've tried but they they did it all themselves uh, that's the greatness you of gave they did the it all they themselves needed, Mickey. they did it all themselves well and that's real generosity and I brought him I had him call Mr. Mayor and he came back. Red Skelton was there. Mm. And uh, <laughs> and of course, she used to have, to have all the Tarzan movies. Uh -huh. Johnny Weissmuller. Oh, gosh. She mm. knew all the people, didn't she? And then I did uh, <clears throat> two pictures for uh, uh, somebody. Uh, what was it? Uh, Domino Principal with Gene oh, Hackman. Gene Hackman, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Candace Bergen. Here, you know. He lives what? here. And he has, got, he has his art here. He's an artist here. I know. Do yeah. you know he's in our tour book? We, he, have a, he has a picture with me. We didn't get one with Mickey, so Mickey said, well, uh -huh. let's put that one in. What a wonderful. I'm from the Domino Principal. What a Principal wonderful. Stuff. You have to see he our was, tour book. You know, he was a Marine. Know. Yes. Now, I must talk with you about this. Before Gene our Hackman. time runs away, um, in 1944, you enlisted. You were the most famous movie star in the world, and, and you joined the services. You fought for your country. And I look around, we're at war, and I think, are any of our number one through ten stars enlisting? No, they're not. And so so you were, you ha you were wearing the bronze star that General Patton, Patton. Patton exactly. himself gave you that. So please talk to us about your work. And war General II Bradley. Yes, General Bradley was... Who took you know, us he to was dinner during next to, yes. next to Eisenhower, General Eisenhower. Yes. And uh, uh -huh. I, I did uh, a show at the Madeleine Theater for General Eisenhower, Bradley, <laughs> and uh, and uh, Marshal nice. Zukov. <laughs> there, but that was after the war. Right, because during the war you had to do regular gun oh, carrying. Oh, no, you bet. AP. We were in Jeep shows. Uh -huh. And uh, a great uh, director went to Washington and said, I have an idea. He said, we, we Josh wanna, Logan. Josh it? Logan. Mm -hmm. He said, let's put three men in a Jeep and let them entertain the fighting men. That's Should they be did. exempt from it? No. They're soldiers. 
who will fight with their M1s. And that's what they uh -huh. did. And put himself in harm's way. That's why. And I, the I was honored. Star. I yeah. was honored to, yeah. to, to uh, work with Mario Peroni, who played the accordion, yes. and Bob Priester, mm -hmm. who sang Oh Oklahoma. Oh the yeah. Comes. And the yeah. boys just and loved, just loved it. it. Yeah. And we have pictures today uh -huh. of me. Which are be in our tour book. This yeah. and, tour uh, book we're doing. Uh, but. We don't do it for that. Uh, He's done it war, all, hasn't yeah. he? <laughs> war, the old saying is, we don't give enough respect to the people who are fighting for this great country, Amen. the United States That's right. of America. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't believe in the war, they're out there trying to do their best. You bet. The it. Army, the Navy, the Marine Corps. They're putting their lives at and risk for us. You know, one of our greatest Marines. Lee Marvin. Lee oh, Marvin. Lee Marvin. Lee Marvin. Lee Marvin. Oh, Lee Marvin. What do you a know, rough shot what man a, he was. He was real. Oh, yeah. that's your real and Marine. And he's like, yes. he's like, he's so, like, he's uh, so flustered. He wants to like, be so right. Like all of our great Marines. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And like, The great Marine that I worked with in Domino Principle. Well, Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman. Yeah. But talking about Gene Hackman. Yeah. Do you know that Lee Marvin is buried in the National Cemetery? No, I Arlington. Didn't know that. In Arlington. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, yes. yes. But uh, these people are real, they're honest. There's no yeah. Hollywood about them. Yeah. And, and now, they do what they do because that's what they enjoy. Yeah. And that's the so same much. reason that Jan and I, my Jan, uh, because we enjoy yes. meeting new people, being kind and courteous and, and entertaining. He, and he still has the gift. He Why should he does. stay home and, exactly, and do nothing when exactly. he can go out and he truly enjoys it? So if people I, have asked me, why don't you retire? Why? I say, why retire? What inspire. That's right. Inspire, exactly. Well, you inspire me. If I might say your age, you are 87 years old. No, I'm 86. You're 86. Well, don't, don't rush it. In a couple don't months. Rush it. Yeah. In a couple months. Okay. What's the difference? September. What is the difference? Age and the, is just a and number, isn't it? And your show celebrates 85 years, because yes. weren't you at 18 months where you put on the stage? Your, your parents were, were, <laughs> act, your, were actors, right? No, they were in, they were in show business. Yeah, well, in show. My father was born in Glasgow, Scotland. Ah, and yeah. he was on the stage. Yes. And, and your mother uh, was a wonderful dancer, from Nan Kansas Carter. City. Yes, uh -huh. she was first in Miller's Maidens. That's where you get all that talent, is from yeah. Where and they Daddy. did the shows by lanterns. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh lanterns. my goodness! Can and, you uh, imagine? <laughs> I first appeared in Albany, New York. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they used to have burlesque theaters mm -hmm. by that time, and everybody thought they were shoddy and every. But all of the situation comedies got their jokes. And their timing from, from, from burlesque. Okay. From burlesque. There was nothing haughty uh -huh. about them. <laughs> uh -huh. And they entertained people with a laugh. That's why Sugar Babies. Oh, that's, oh, that's why. There, there, there was so a loud, there was a beginning of that. Don't listen to the snobs yeah. who say burlesque was mean and low. Believe me, they don't know the half. <laughs> For a mer very modest price, you could enter paradise. Or a man could drown his troubles in a laugh. <laughs> Bobby Clark and Leon Earl, Willie Howard, Fanny Bryce, Al Jolson, Sophie Tucker, Eddie Foy. I remember their routines, all the shtick in all their scenes, a memory that time could not destroy. There were chorus girls and jugglers and a sentimental tune illustrated by a lantern slide. No fun was ever greater. That was the real theater. Just pay a fin and step inside. I mean, how can you begin a <laughs> show wonderful. with more charm? Well, and unfortunately, we are at the point where we have to end our show with charm. So um, maybe you'd like to, to sing us out with a song, our, our guest. No, no? I'd, like to, I'd like to say something. Would you, whatever you want to do. What song would you like to do, my dear? <clears throat> 
Let's do it. Let's. Can we finish the song we started? Yes. Uh -huh. You say either. You say either, and I say either. You say mm -hmm. either, and I say either. Well, you say neither, and I say neither. Either. Either. Neither. Neither. Let's call the whole thing off. Well, you say potato, and I say potato. You say tomato, and I say tomato. Potato. Potato. Tomato. Tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. But oh, if we call the whole thing off, then we must part. And oh, if we ever part, then that might break my heart. So you like pajamas, and I like pajamas. Well, you wear pajamas and give up pajamas. For we know we need each other, so we better call the calling off all. Call the whole thing off. <laughs> it's with great reluctance that I have to call oh. this whole report from Santa Fe. Our, our wonderful guest. Well, we today. want to thank uh, the governor, Mr. Richardson. Yes, yes. And, and his, his wonderful, wonderful wife, wife, Mrs. Barbara. Richardson. Yes, and, and we're sorry for the opportunity be with us, to be here. At we're the we're with them in our spirit. And I'm so happy to say. <laughs> That they've started studio. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's the film industry is booming here. Come back. Good for them. Come back. Thank Our, you. Thank you, Lorene. Yes. We've had such a wonderful time. Well, thank you for being so nice and giving <laughs> us the time. Oh, it's been my my delight. Our guests today are Jan Rooney, Mrs. Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney himself has graced our, our stage today. And I'm Lorene Mills. I'd like to thank you for being with us today on Report from Santa Fe. We'll see you next week. Past archival programs of Report from Santa Fe are available at the website reportfromsantafe.com. If you have questions or comments, please email info at reportfromsantafe.com. Report from Santa Fe is made possible in part by grants from the members of the National Education Association of New Mexico, an organization of professionals who believe that investing in public education is an investment in our state's economic future. And by a grant from the Healy Foundation, Taos, New Mexico.